Good morning. Welcome to Payne's Picks on Saturday, May the 9th, Gulfstream Park. I had a good day yesterday. Uh, yesterday, let's see. Yesterday, 11 races. We had four A horses, five B horses, two C horses. So 11 for 11 A, B, C. Not too bad. All right, moving on. Uh, I see in the back there, they're at the post. It's a nice little race game for your race lovers. But anyway, let's get on to the races. Race number one, Gulfstream Park. One mile on the turf, Maiden 12.5. I like the 10. Sweet Giant. Uh, the horse has got some great speed ratings. He's got some great breeding. Uh, and she got a decent price on him. It's a tough little maiden race, but I think uh, Sweet Giant should be live. Followed by the nine. Traffic Trouble. I read Ortiz in the mount. Should be closing down the stretch. Hopefully he gets some pace because the horse needs some pace, but he could be good. The nine. Followed by the five. Jack Beanstalk, Norm Cassie, Luis Saez in the jockey, dropping down a little bit, trying to turf. Uh, should have some speed out of the gate, and speed's good at Gulfstream. So, like the five, followed by the two, which is Maito, Joe Safi, Tyler Gaffney on in the turf. Can't go wrong. Out of Declaration of War, horse is in good form. Third off the layoff, so my numbers are 10, 9, 5, and 2. 10, 9, 5, and 2. On to the second. Maiden special weight for two-year-olds, four and a half furlongs. In this race, I'm going to go with the eight on top. Hyper focus. Todd Pletcher at Constitution. He's been uh, get some great workouts, um, and he's going to have the horse. Constitution has sired 26% two-year-old debut winners. Pretty good numbers. Oh, the four is going to be tough though. Breakthrough West Ward, first full out of Nyquist. The great Nyquist, Kentucky Derby winner. He's got some great workouts. Might want some more distance, but um, great bloodlines and uh, should be ready to fire for Westy Ward. So 8-4. You also got to look at the horse named Pepe. He's already ran once. He ran just behind, just just like my, or just right Mike, who won yesterday in a two-year-old two race. So um, if he was behind him, that horse ran good yesterday on the second, and he's got some experience. So Pepe I like as well. Followed by screen star Tim Ham, Dylan Davis, and Jockey. Uh, good bloodlines. Trainer 20% with two year olds. So I like the 8, 4, 9, 1 in the two year old race. Race number three. One mile turf made in 40,000. Um, I love the 12 horse, Cat Lady. On the outside, Todd Pletcher. Going from maiden special weight to maiden claimer. I love that angle. Uh, I think this horse is going to be live and going to be very tough to beat. I also like the 8, Tokyo. Um, didn't get a great start last time. Moved, moved up the rail. Uh, Edgar Zayas had him last time. Has him again out of Brethren. Um, he's got some great bloodlines. Um, DPI of 3.49, which I love that I love that number. So I like the 8 as well. 12, 8 with the 6. Mariposa Bella. This horse is 12 to 1. Morning lines. Puts the blinkers on. Dropping down in class. Got to give him some respect. Rajiv Moran in the saddle, number six, followed by the, let's see who I like, the, the, there's a couple that I like behind him, but I'm going to go with the nine as well, temperance out of the factor, speed, speed, at, the reason I put him at the edge of the others is I think he's got speed out of the gate, and speed at Gulfstream is tough at 12 to 1, so we're going with the 12, 8, 6, and 9, 12, 8, 6, and 9, and the third, on to the fourth. Claiming 16, one mile on the turf. I like the two. Dane Grace. Dana Grace is the second time on the turf. Uh, came flying last time, time, bid late. Um, Kathy Ritvo with Edgar Zayas again in the saddle. So I think the two is going to be solid. Along with the four. A tappet horse, too much war. Uh, went wire to wire last time. This is, he had a two-year layoff, come back. It's his third race off the layoff. And I think he's going to be tough with the speed again. So I love the speed at, at Gulfstream. So too much war. Followed by the one hexagonal. Um, Haramilo in the saddle. He loves Haramilo on the turf. At the Gulfstream is tough. He's got some great uh, numbers. And I think he's going to be solid out of a fleet Alex. 
followed by the 11 out of Stormy Atlantic, Money Factor, Warfront, uh, coming off a brief shortening, uh, brief rest, dropping in class, takes the blinkers off. I like the 2 4 1 11 in the fourth. In the fifth, this is a 6 4 long maiden 10,000 race. I like the 10 horse from the outside, impression given. Louis Reyes in the saddle. I just think this horse has got some back class. Um, I think he's in good form. He's got speed. Like I said before, speed on the turf. I also like a first-time starter, number three, because there's not a lot of experience or not a lot of quality in this field. So I like Poseidon's Princess. Uh, Larry Pelotti, Poseidon's Warriors, Spice Town. Uh, give the first-time starter in this week field a, a shot. I also like the one socially astray off the rail, Antonio Sano. Um, dropping in class a little bit. Uh, but I think the move on the rail could be tough. Could be could help this horse. And lastly, the drop in class. I like the nine Lola wants the Henny Hughes horse dropping from maiden special weight to maiden claimer. Didn't do much last race, but I think the drop in class could be what the doctor ordered. So I like the ten three one nine in the fifth, in the sixth race. I like the eleven in the maiden special weight or maiden sixty five thousand one mile. I like the level eleven reconvene. Had the lead late in the stretch. A little short, second time out could be tough. Um, but in the same co company, uh, Ben Perkins' horse with Hollow Mural back in the saddle. Uh, also, like the four a lot. Riggins, Todd Pletcher horse, was eighth last time and he went real wide. Getting the seven to two on him, I think that's a fair price with that rider. Trees in the saddle. Riggins, I really like as well. Followed by the eight, or no, excuse me, the six, Nassau Street. Jenna Antonucci, Bodie Meister, Empire Maker, Louis Reyes, second time on the turf. Um, great workout. He's ready to go. 30 to 1. I like that's why I threw him in there for the value. Followed by the 12. Eagles Palace. Will Will Mott. Um, he looks good. Any Will Mott horse, second time off the layoff. Ran he studied last time, ran pretty solid. First time in for claimers and the maiden claimers. So I think he's gonna give a shot. But you also gotta look at the um Let's see, the, the 10 horse with speed, B, ma B major. John Mazza, Joe Bravo is going to have speed out of the gate. And again, speed out of the gate is tough. 11, 4, 8, 6, 12 in that race. On to the 7. 5 furlong turf allowance, 55,000. I really like the 3 horse. Fast scene, Tim Ham, Dylan Davis, speed out of the gate, might not catch him. Followed by the 10. Compensate, 5 to 1. Luis Sias on the outside ran in a grade 3 a few a few races back. Trying the turf again. Uh, Liam's map on Bridled Song, great bloodlines. So I like 3 10 with the 2. Aficionado, first time in the country. Uh, Patrick Biancone does a good job with those. Joe Bravo in the saddle is a French import. Got some speed. I'm going to have to throw him in as well. Not much form to look at except for his bloodlines, but I, I think he's going to be tough. Um, and number nine, American Pharaoh, Philly, named Envied. Uh, ran in some stake races, come flying last time on the patient on the turn. Uh, so the nine. So I like the three, ten, two, nine in the seventh. Race number eight. Six, uh, six furlongs claiming 16K. I like the 13. Cat gone quick. Uh, speed and drop down in class. Going in light. He's been carrying 120 pounds. But he's got Burgos carrying a 111, which could be the difference. Never, You can't forget about the weight. Uh, sometimes that makes it an edge for a horse, especially in these cheap claimers. Number seven, a Certico. Uh, Mo Vasquez puts the blinkers on. Dropping in class from 50,000 optional claimers in stake race down to the 16 claimers is kind of questionable, but I think it might be good enough to beat this field. Followed by the four, War Act out of Spice Town. Um, good bloodlines, good breeding, and I got some good numbers on this horse. Uh, followed by the five, Louise Kingdom, Larry Ravelli, Irad Ortiz gets on the mount, speed. So three, seven, four, five, and the eighth. Good luck in the uh, million. Guaranteed pick six as well if you play it. Ninth race. Like three horses on top. 
tough race. I like Hawkish coming off the layoff. James Toner, um, the horse loves the track, two for three, uh, likes the distance. Got some great works coming in. I like Hawkish a lot in this race coming off the layoff, followed by Social Paranoia, going for three wins in a row. Todd Pletcher, um, second race off the layoff. Was well back last time, but he likes to be closer to the pace, so I think that's going to make it. It's going to help him in here if he stays close to the pace. And I also like the three, so I like the El Tormenta, twelve to one. Um, great breeding, Stormy Atlantic, Storm Cat, Terradora takes the blinkers off. Didn't do much last race, but he was keened up in his first race since November, um, and he and he was a little green coming back. But I think he's going to run well today at twelve to one, so I like the three as well. And lastly, the eleven. Admissions office. Brian Lynch uh, ran right behind Zulu Alpha. What more can I say there? Great workouts. Gave him a short freshening since February. A little slow out of the gate. He's going to have to find some find a good path, but I like him as well. So in this race with the scratch of War of Will, which is kind of disheartening because I'd like to see him run. I'd, I'd like the 7, 9, 3, and 11 in the ninth. 7, 9, 3, and 11. On to the 10th. The tenth race is an optional claimer mile race in the turf. My top horse selection in here is a six ba battle of Blenheim, trying for four, uh, three out of four. Had a lead in deep stretch last time, dropping again. Mike Maker, Irad Ortiz, Warfront, Danzig. How could you go wrong? Love the six. Followed by the eight. Gray's Fable, Maiden, Maiden. I watched this race. It was a maiden break, jumping into a big allowance race, but he won easy. Had the lead the whole way with some speed. I don't think he's going to get the lead as easy as he did last time, but I think he might be able to come off the pace as well. Five to one, I like the eight. Gray's Fable, followed by the one counter offer off a short uh, rest. Um, he's got some good bloodlines. He's got some good numbers. Ran some stake races, and he's got Eddie Grizzaya, so could have a big day today. We'll see how if he can manage these good mounts he's got. Followed by the twelve. This horse here is 30 to 1 surf shack but he's out of malibu moon ap indy more than ready more than pretty off of, since october he could come out firing he's got a good workout i'm going to take a shot with number 12 30 to 1 so my numbers are 6 8 1 and 12. i like the 12 for my brother-in-law bob's bombs he probably likes surf shack on to race 11. optional claimer 16,000 six furlongs I like the three, tap tap it to win. Tap it, pulpit, Medallia Dioro, Tyler Gaffleone. Uh, coming off two stake races, one's including a grade one. Uh, his last win was a maiden race, but he put him up too, too tough, Mark Cassie. But he's dropping him back in down and for a tag. I think he's going to be good at five to one. Followed by Al Fight, Dempsey, number four. Todd Pletcher, Speed, Luis Saez, Into Mischief Horse. Love those horses, are my favorite. Um... Followed by the five, Mercedes, our Mercedes boy, Georgina Baxter. Uh, second race off a layoff. Could could have used last race. 59 second breeze for this coming into this race. Going to be good. And last is haunted by the music. Six, big six length romp in his maiden special race by the Big Beast. Uh, got some good bloodlines. So my numbers in race 11 are three, four, five, and seven. Into the finale. And good luck on that guaranteed pick six today. My numbers in race 12 are, well, I like Trapezoid. Trapezoid has got some good bloodlines. He's, got, he's in shape. He's in good form. Um, likes to track Edgar Zayas again. We'll see what kind of day he has. I got a lot of picks with Edgar Zayas today. Well, hopefully he does well for me. That's a two followed by a three, Pepe the Hunter. Probably going to be the favorite in the race. Looks good. He's solid. Um... And he should be tough, but I don't know about the price. He can't take much more than uh, two to one on this horse. But he's a good horse, but I wouldn't go too much lower than that. You got to go with the Robert again for my brother-in-law, Bob's Bombs, the Robert. Um, he's tri tri um, tri tripping in from Parks. Uh, he's got some good bloodlines, and we'll see how he can handle the Gulfstream turf. He's one for one a couple, a couple years ago. He won at Gulfstream, but he's one for one at Gulfstream. Maybe he's come back to get the win. The Robert, followed by the six, the Queen's Jewels. Um, could, could have some speed out of the gate. Didn't do well last time on the turf. Coming back onto the dirt, where he won by three lengths. So I'm going to give him a shot there. So two, three, one, six, and a tough 
finale, but you also got to throw in the 5 8 or 10 because that, that's a spread race in the 12th. Good luck um, in today's card. Have fun and go try to win that million dollar guarantee, two million dollar guarantee pool. Gotta love the handicapping. Out.